All right, hello everyone. So today I'm gonna to be talking about why you should consider becoming a teaching assistant, also known as a TA. Now I've been a teaching assistant for my online master's in computer science program for about three months now. And today I just wanna be talking about a general overview of what I've been learning and what my typical schedule is like and definitely some takeaways of why I think you should consider applying to become a teaching assistant yourself. So what are my responsibilities as a teaching assistant? Well, there's mainly four things that I do. First, I hold weekly office hours. This is where I meet with students one-on-one -on -one at a specific time slot, and I go over any questions they have about the course material or their homework assignment, or maybe a future exam that they're gonna have. Now, second, I also hold recitations. So recitations are basically an additional time slot where a group of students can go over repeated course material or practice problems so that they can reinforce their knowledge of the course material. And in these sessions, I'm either leading or I'm assisting the recitation. Because there's two TAs generally in a recitation, one who's leading and one who's assisting, so that they can both handle the material and questions that any student has. Now third, I maintain a discussion board where I answer student questions, and this is where other staff can help answer student questions as well. And these questions are ranging anywhere from the schedule of the course or particular problems with the homework or practice assignments, or even on any exams that we may have in the future. And finally, I grade each homework. I grade a batch of students for each homework assignment that they have to submit. I provide comments on it. I run it through any testing submissions that they have to do, and generally just look at their code and see if they followed the instructions clearly and they answered the questions properly. Now, what is the compensation for being a teaching assistant? Now, whatever your institution or program may be, it may be wildly different, but for my particular program, they provide $16 per hour. And what I use this money for is primarily for living needs as well as paying down the cost of tuition. So now what does a typical schedule look like for me being a TA? Now I'm gonna be talking about a very general schedule that I have personally. And I know that schedules can range very differently depending on what responsibilities you have. Now the range of hours that I typically work in a week can go from six to 12 hours, but I typically work around eight to nine hours frequently within each week. Now, specifically, if you're in an online program like I am, uh, there is an advantage of having quite a flexible format. So what this means is that I don't have to commute and be present on a physical campus, and I can schedule hours more effectively to what fits in my schedule, whereas maybe if you're working on campus, you might not have that uh, freedom or privilege to do so. So what this has helped me to do is effectively batch my tasks. Now, it can be very overwhelming if you have a full-time schedule, either as a student or you're working, and you have an additional responsibility as a teaching assistant. Now, one method that I've used to mitigate any overwhelming or demanding workload that'll lead to burnout is to batch my tasks. So what this looks like is I pretty much reserve one or two days in the week where I do a majority of my teaching assistant tasks. Now, this isn't the only way to batch your tasks. You can do specific hours in a day or a specific range of days in the week. But for me, I specifically batch my tasks on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So Tuesdays is where I batch my tasks, where I'm directly interacting with students. So the I pretty much reserve the whole day, pretty much, or at least half the day on teaching assistant tasks where I'm directly answering student questions on a discussion board, or I'm meeting with them on one-on-one -on -one sessions or office hours, or I'm prepping any recitation work that I have to do for the next day. So as a category, it helps me just to focus on what I need to do and so that there's no distractions either from stuff that's non-work, but also maybe another teaching assistant responsibility as well. Now Thursdays, that's where I manage my tasks where I'm more in the back end. So this is typically 
grading homeworks or I'm collaborating with other staff to help students or I'm trying to schedule or manage something. This is typically where I'm not directly interacting with students. Again, this is just one example. There are many other examples of managing your time and batching your tasks, but I highly recommend that if you ever do consider becoming a teaching assistant, that you prioritize your time in any way possible so that you can still facilitate student learning in the course. So now I wanna talk about some general positives and negatives I've taken away from my teaching experience so far in the course. So definitely some positives is that you get to interact with other students, not just students, but maybe students of your own program and you get to learn more about them and help teach. And if you generally like teaching, it can just be a very fun activity in and of itself. Now, even more so when you're teaching someone, you become even more confident in the course material. Now, specifically in my course where we're programming a lot, you become very good at what's known as debugging. Now, debugging helps you troubleshoot and solve whatever problem is happening with someone's homework or the way maybe they're thinking about an assignment. And this just really reinforces your ability to find out what issues are coming up, how can you solve them, and what can be done about them. And I would say this is a very powerful skill, and if not, one of the best takeaways you can get as a teaching assistant and just being a teacher in general. Now, like I've said before, there is compensation and that does help me pay down my tuition and help with my living expenses. And it's really nice to have that as a student because sometimes you're sacrificing working so that you can prioritize your studies. But being a teaching assistant, you can integrate that within your studies so that you don't really have to sacrifice pay over studying. And definitely, finally, another positive is a flexible schedule, especially if you have the ability to teach in an online format. Now, I don't work full time, but I am studying in three other courses while being a teaching assistant. And this may seem like a lot, but the flexibility and additionally, the online format of being a teaching assistant has really helped me navigate how I could integrate that with my full time studies. And I've also met plenty of other teaching staff who are also full-time workers and they're a teaching assistant as well. And they've been able to balance and maintain their schedules quite effectively. So if you're working or studying full-time, I do think that you can be a teaching assistant during that time and it won't have any detrimental effect, at least not any significant effect on your time and responsibilities. Okay, so some negatives and not necessarily bad things, but just some things to be aware of is that being a teaching assistant and just teaching in general can be very overwhelming and demanding at times. Now, this is for a number of reasons. It's either you have too many responsibilities, um, you have poor time management, or you just have too many things going on. Now, additionally, sometimes you'll be learning things and meeting other students who will challenge what you think and what you know. Now, probably another overwhelming or demanding thing is that you will learn what you don't know. Maybe you haven't learned all the aspects of the course material when you took the course, or maybe a student will raise an issue that there's some way that you didn't think of before. So it can seem very overwhelming that you don't know everything, but rest assured, it's not your responsibility to know everything. Your primary role as a teaching assistant is just to help facilitate the student learning. And one of the best ways that you can mitigate this is just admit that you don't know everything and you do wanna help whoever it is that you're teaching. Okay, so finally, what are just my general takeaways from being a teaching assistant for a brief time and why would I recommend it for you? So if you wanna be a leader or an expert in a certain field or subject, I highly recommend finding a position where you can teach, especially here as a teaching assistant. This is just a great opportunity for you to just reinforce what you've been learning in that course and also just help others so that you can become that go-to person that can be the advisor on whatever subject matter you're dealing with. Now, another thing is that if you wanna give back to the learning community, say the students in your program or just the program in general, Becoming a teaching assistant is a great way to do this. 
If you want to help others out, or even more so, you want to change how the course materials are delivered or how it's facilitated, I highly recommend becoming a teaching assistant so that you can offer a different way of explaining things or teaching students new subject matters and so on and so forth. Now, one of the things that I really like about my program is that it's teaching is always evolving so that it can meet students' needs. And many times I see that as an example of this is in teaching assistants who were previous students of a course. So I do believe that teaching assistants do have some part, either big or small, in helping develop whatever program that you're in. And now a final takeaway is that you will be challenged. When you start teaching a course, you will constantly be learning new things. There may be material that you didn't go over or maybe new techniques that you weren't aware of before. Furthermore, teaching is a collaborative effort. You'll be working with other teaching staff and you'll also be working with students, both in groups and one-on-one. -on -one. So there's always collaboration involved. Now, additionally, your time management will be put to the test. It will really challenge you. Do you have your priorities in order? Are you able to actually handle more tasks? And is your schedule the way it should be? Now, finally, you'll definitely be learning a lot about communication. I very much believe that a foundation of effective learning is communication. So it's just great to improve on the skill as you continue to teach or become a teaching assistant. And it'll really challenge you. How are you communicating a topic to someone who's never heard of it before? How are you communicating with other staff and students? And how is communication really guiding the learning and teaching experience? But anyways, those are just my brief thoughts as a teaching assistant so far in the semester. If you're interested in becoming a teaching assistant, I highly recommend that you consider applying and really take into consideration all the things that I've said before. And I will just say in advance that it's just a great opportunity and I'm very thankful to be a part of it and definitely I'm considering to be a teaching assistant in the future as well. Now, please let me know down below in the comments if you're interested in becoming a TA or what have you learned from other TAs and what has helped you with learning. But if you're new to this channel, my name is Cedric. I'm studying for my master's in computer science. And on this channel, I make videos about my academic lifestyle and academic journey. So if you're interested in any of that, please consider subscribing. But anyways, thanks for watching.